grew up in Lacombe and uh, moved to Red Deer as a, well, as, <laughs> as a young guy to get into the construction world. Wandered through the concrete world and the framing world and the carpentry world and, and then settled in with a larger housing company in 1990, True Line was formed. Lots of framing, you know, decks, garages, that sort of thing. Just really at that point, it was anything to survive. The first, you know, spec home slash show home, I know for sure that the bank and the realtor that sold it both made more money than True Line did. I know that for sure. That was some inspiration to, uh, you know, invest in some show home furniture and, you know, and start doing the sales in-house too, right? The 90s overall were just nice and steady and solid. You could, you could plan, um, you could build a good quality home and there'd be a buyer for it. Um, it also started giving opportunity to be involved with more of the community groups. The first project with the Boys and Girls Club it looked like a great project and a great way to give back to the community. Um, more of resources and, and talent and cohorting the trades into getting me involved and, and saving them money rather than you know donating money, which there really wasn't much of. Women's Shelter had an opportunity for a similar project that we stick handled the same way. Kinsman, I think we've done about 20 Kinsman Dream Homes. We've also done the hospital lottery and festival trees and, and the staff are a big part of, you know, a lot of the community things that, that get done and are, are a success because of, you know, everyone behind me, so to speak. You could do a five-year plan, you could do a 10-year plan, um, but really you had to almost daily do a tomorrow plan. And my whole goal or plan or call it what you wish has always just been to stay within, you know, stay within what a person can handle. Um, don't bite off more than you can chew. And at the same time, be ready and, and approachable and and jump on opportunities as they happen. And we did a little over 100 homes in one year. So that was our, our best year. Um, builder of the year and renovator of the year on, uh, you know, on a local level um, stands out for sure. You know, being citizen of the year in Red Deer was, was probably one of the real standout on a personal level. You really need to pay attention to and learn from others in the industry. You know, listen to your banker when he's talking, listen to your accountant when he's talking, network with people, pay attention, listen to their stories. Numerous times over the years, you know, I've met with someone, they've Got some little scribble on a napkin or a piece of paper and you know you meet with them and you you know you listen to them and kind of figure out where you know what their needs are where they're going and you take that napkin and through the process the napkin becomes their dream home and you know as you're turning those keys over and they're moving in you know, that's, that's a thrill that never goes away.